Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Here we have my 2015 Specialized P3 Standard dirt jumper and we have my United Mothership um, Street BMX. So I'm gonna just go through it, a like a BMX versus slash a dirt jumper, like a comparison sort of video, so like differences between and like versing and like what they're good for. So first off, we're gonna start with the dirt jumper and then we'll compare it to the BMX. So, at the heart, you've got a big frame, you've got a 26 inch dirt jump frame. Traditionally, they're 26, but old school will have 20, 24 inch dirt jumpers. On the BMX, you just have 20 inch, or junior BMX will be 18 inch, or a bigger, like a 22 inch BMX is a different breed of BMX, it's 22 inch. But normally, you just have 26 and 20, they're the standard sizes. But on the frame, top shoe length, this is a 22.75, this is a 21.75, so that is the longest frame one of the longest frames you can get the United Mothership. Um, so as you can see this one's really, they're both really short, rear end's really slammed, pretty long both of them. Um, next off we'll go with the hub, so they both generally have the same style hub, but the mountain bike has a cassette, like a, they can slide on BMX, so more they have cassette and free coasters. Dirt jumpers more they have just cassettes, and that has a 13 tooth driver on it has a 9, I can change that one out to a 9 and change the driver in and out with the just the, with the chain ring on it. And that's got a full link chain, some of them have half links but it's got a full link on it, it's got a half link, you can get full links with BMX but half links are just, I don't know, they just suit BMXs more. Um, so that's got a 17mm axle going through, that's got a 15, it's got a 30 tooth chain ring on the, 32 tooth chain ring on the front, that's got a 28, so that normally has a 30 or 32. BMX only has a 25, 28, or 30. 30 for Trey Jones, but only some people have them. So that's a 32, 13. This is a 28, 9. Um, they both have male rear axles. You can get female on both of them, but BMX more has female on the front. This has a bolt through, like a RockShox Maxil, so it's a bolt through. Doesn't have anything in there, you just push it through, so it has little threads on the other side of the fork. Um, obviously this is a 26 inch, this is a 20 inch wheel size. Um, the rim widths, generally the same. Gen yeah, generally the same. Tires, generally the same, running 2.2 to 2.5 ish. The dirt jump is a BMX, but I'm running a 2.3 on this and 2.4 on this. That's like a more common size. The rear ends are really slammed on them. Um, crank lengths personal preference, they normally come with bigger cranks than them, we only have shorter cranks. Pedals, we only have metal on them and plastics on them, but it's really what you want, like personal opinion. Next thing is you can see that this is rigid and this is a suspension fork, it's got 100mm of travel, has an air adjustment, you get spring on them, this one has air adjustment and it's got a compression thing, that's just a rigid fork. One eighth, I think it is for the steer tube on this. This is a one fifth or one eighth, so that's a tapered. So it tapers in and goes smaller just for strength and stiffness. Seats generally the same. They've got a that's got a railed seat. This has got a tripod. This has actually got a pivotal, but you get tripod slash um, tripod and pivotal seats on them. But normally, generally with BMX, you'll have a yeah, them too, or you can get railed for BMX. Next one is the bottom bracket. On that one, that has a big ass spindle in it. It's like a 26 to a 30 something. I forget what it's called, the spindle size and that, but on BMX, you normally have a 19, a 20, or a 22 for extra stiff, or you can even get a 24 inch, 24 millimeter spindle. Um, BMX normally run four pegs or two pegs for grinding when you can run hub guards. I don't really generally do grinding on these. The bolt through axle is a 20mm bolt through axle on this. Uh, wheel lacing is normally the same, it normally has a 26, no, and it normally has a 36, and it normally has a 32. See these are flat riser bars on mountain bikes with a Magura MT Sport rear disc brake. Normally you just run this rear disc brake on these and they normally either run brakeless or a rear rim brake on them. On the BMX they have rise BMX bars with the short stem. This has a short stem too. Cable wrapped around it for bar spins. That doesn't even have it, so you can just bar spin it. 
think that's all. Grips, personal preference. But yeah, if you have any comments or questions or anything, just shoot them away and I'll just tell you. That's it for the video, guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and like, subscribe, share, and comment. Share with your mates, and tell me I should make another video on.